Yeah, and everybody's talking about the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays. Jays. <laughs> the Blue Jays. We mean everybody. Anybody who's famous, they're tweeting about it. Check out, la check out what we saw actually after last night's wild win. Jays win, booking their ticket to the American League Championship Series for the first time since 1993. Jubilation from the team. As they celebrate. From fans across the country and from the stars, while Eugene Levy was right there at Rogers Center to take in the game. Social media lit up with reactions from celebs watching everywhere. Fergie Instagrammed, so excited to be in Toronto when the Blue Jays just made history. Author Stephen King tweeted, I've seen some crazy baseball in my time, but not Nothing like the Blue Jays Rangers game. Who said Canadian fans were polite? Adding, not that I blame them. The Six's own Drake Instagrammed a pic of Jose Batista writing, giving us moments to remember. Of course, he's talking about that bat flip after Batista hit his three run homer. Epic. Switching gears now, disturbing new details about Lamar Odom's medical condition coming to light with the release of the 911 call made when the former NBA star was found unconscious in a brothel. He's got uh, blood coming out of his nose, white stuff coming out of his mouth, and almost not breathing. During that call, the reporting parties informed dispatch the male had been using cocaine. They also informed dispatch that he'd used up to 10 tabs of sexual performance enhancer supplements. Odom, who is still fighting for his life in a Las Vegas hospital this morning, was found Tuesday at Nevada's Love Ranch brothel. As we told you yesterday, Odom's estranged wife, Khloe Kardashian, is sitting vigil at his bedside. We've since learned that the couple's divorce has not yet gone through, meaning that Khloe is in charge of his medical care. Reports say Odom is in a coma. Other sources say he suffered brain damage and has had multiple strokes. <laughs> Coco Rocha lighting up Montreal last night as she attended the launch of Eero's first Canadian store. BT Montreal's Wilder Weir caught up with the supermodel mom in an entertainment city first. Uh, I want to ask you just a little bit about uh, motherhood. She's six months already. It's so fast. She's going to college tomorrow. No. <laughs> Rocha also shared her thoughts on the recent shaming she received after she revealed on Instagram that she bottle feeds her baby. For those that are out there, when it comes to how I take care of my baby and who's doing well, that, that isn't up to you. Vin Diesel trading fast cars for bad witches in his new fantasy film. TK caught up with the star in New York to talk about going from Dom Toretto to an immortal witch slayer. Who knew that Vin Diesel, global action star, was such a fantasy geek? For me, love for fantasy started with Dungeons and Dragons. And, you know, we imagined fighting with flaming swords. Jump cut to now. Oh, and by the way, even Vin has Jay's fever. Go Jay's! Yeah, baby! Music is what Empire is about. It's the hottest show in television, and now you can bring Empire into your home. Design expert Shai DeLuca is stopping by City Line to show Tracy Moore how to get the Empire look at home. And Entertainment City got the behind the scenes scoop. I think the one thing that people have challenges with is how to get the look, but not make it look like a movie set. So we're going to give tips and tricks on choosing those inspiration pieces and putting it all together in the right way. Tune into City Line today for the Empire extravaganza. Hello Canada is showing you another side of Victoria Beckham. She invited Hello along exclusively to her Ethiopia trip. In her role as UN AIDS ambassador, she's able to give back to other mothers and children. Get the full scoop from Hello on newsstands and your next issue app today. And coming up tomorrow, Demi Lovato gives us the scoop on her new album, Confident.